Hi everyone, my name is Juuso. I work as a product manager in the Concepts iOS team. In this video, I'll walk you through the new features in the 6.2 release. So let's get started. The first new feature I want to show is the widgets. You might be familiar with them on the iOS devices already, but let me show you how to use them in Concepts. To get started, you need to open your gallery and tap and hold on a folder. In the context menu, choose Add to Widgets and then go back into your, onto your home screen. Tap and hold on the home screen to edit it and tap on the plus button on the top left. Then look for concepts on the list in the right, on the left side. Here you will see the different sized widgets concepts offers. You can choose between four different sizes depending on the device size. Let's choose this one with four thumbnails in it. So tap add widget to add that widget on your home screen. You can see it shows you four drawings from your gallery. Tap and hold on the widget to edit it. And you will see this options to uh, customize your widget. The first option here is folder. This is where you can choose between the folders in your gallery. So every folder that you have added to widgets, like the one in the beginning of the video, will appear in this list. I added a folder called example folder. So let me choose that one. The next option here is sort order. So you can sort either by random or most recent. Random shows you a random selection of drawings from that folder. And most recent shows the most recently updated drawings in that folder. Duration uh, determines how often the thumbnails in the widget will change. This only applies if you have set sorti sorting order to random. So if you select one hour here and have sorting order set to random, your widget will show you a new random thumbnail every hour. Style. There are two options here, grid and single. Grid is the one you already saw with four images. Single looks like this. So it only shows one drawing in the widget. The last option is show, where you can show uh, select the information shown on the widget. Uh, you can choose between folder name, drawing names, and nothing. Folder name means that you will see the name of the folder in the gallery at the bottom of this widget. Let me put this back into the grid style. So let's look into how this works. You can tap on any of the drawings you see in the widget and that drawing will automatically open directly in concepts. Tap on another drawing and that one will open. You can also tap on the folder name to open that folder. And lastly, you can also create a new drawing within that same folder. Tap on the plus and that will automatically open and open concepts and load the canvas for a new drawing. This is especially useful for, for creating new drawings, new notes quickly. So let's move on to the next improvement in this release. We've improved the snap to grid functionality now. now. Let me show you how it differs from the previous version. Previously, you were able to draw on a grid line and go back and forth and we drew a line on the grid line anywhere your pencil uh, touched. With the update, you can now trace back on the line and it won't over overlap itself, rather it will trace back and you can 
adjust the stroke as you draw it. So if you make a wrong turn, just go back a bit and redraw that stroke. This improves the uh, or allows for more precision and easier drawing of corners. Overall, this change makes the snap to create a better experience in our opinion. Uh, let us know what you think about this in the comments. There's a few other things in this release, one of them being the refactored quick clear menu. You can access that menu by double tapping on the slice tool or the mask tools. In this menu, you can select from clear current layer, clear all layers, or you can specifically clear all strokes, text, images, or measurements from a drawing. Tap on the option, confirm, and you'll see how the selected items disappear from the list. This menu has already existed, but it's now done in a new style and it's more clear and easier to use. We also fixed the bug we had with setting the scale using the shape guide, the line guide. Now, if you set the line guide to an exact length and tap set scale, it works like it used to work with no mistakes in the precision. There's also one more new change. If you open the help menu after an update, uh, you'll see our new roadmap and change log page. This is where we list what we've done in the previous releases and also what we are doing or what we have added in the latest release. It also has a section for upcoming work. You can access it in the help menu after you updated the app or you can tap on the watch new button here to open the same page later on if you don't want to look into it in, uh, immediately after updating the app. So that's all this time. Uh, looking forward for the next release. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments and thanks everyone. See you next time.